Hello everyone, this is Jepna from the Discovery Center and I'm here to talk to you about an exciting celestial alignment that you'll be able to see for yourself here on Earth, an eclipse. On April 8th, 2024, a solar eclipse will be visible across Nova Scotia and we want to make sure that you are well and truly prepared for the opportunity to view a rare treat. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun as it moves along its orbit around the Earth. The moon blocks light from the Sun either partially or totally and casts a shadow on the Earth. The last total solar eclipse visible throughout Nova Scotia was in the year 1970 and the next one won't be until 2079. What you as a viewer are able to see will depend on where you are on Earth. It's about timing and location, location, location. The April 8th eclipse is a total solar eclipse. That is, the moon will completely block out the sun at its maximum, plunging those along the path of totality into darkness for a couple of minutes and revealing the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona. The path of totality for this eclipse will cut across North America, moving over several locations in Atlantic Canada, including Fredericton, New Brunswick, Summerside, PEI, and even Meat Cove on Unamagi, or Cape Breton Island. For most of Nova Scotia, we will see about 94% of the sun covered by the moon, the deepest partial eclipse that we'll see for decades. The eclipse event will begin at around 3.30 p.m. when the moon starts to move in front of the sun in the southwestern sky. That first shadowy nibble from the moon won't be obvious to viewers merely a tiny sliver of black that steadily grows, turning the sun into a smaller and smaller crescent shape. After maximum coverage is reached, at around 4.40 p.m., the reverse is observed. Now, the moon's shadow recedes, and by 5.45 p.m., the event will be over. So, how can we view the sun safely? during an eclipse. Please never look at the sun without special eye protection. Sunglasses are not appropriate personal protective equipment and are not a replacement for these ISO certified eclipse glasses. The solar filters in eclipse glasses are specifically designed to protect your eyes from the intense brightness of the sun. They block out most of the sun's light along with ultraviolet and infrared radiation that would otherwise harm our eyes. Before viewing the sun, check the certification of your eclipse glasses and make sure that there are no damages, there are no bends, holes, or scratches. During a partial solar eclipse, these eclipse glasses must be worn throughout the entire viewing period since there will never be a point when the sun experiences 100% coverage by the moon. Just remember to look down or away from the sun as you put the eclipse glasses on and take them off. If you wear regular eyeglasses, you can wear your eclipse glasses over top of them, checking to make sure that they fit snugly. Make sure to store your Eclipse glasses somewhere they won't get bent, scratched, or otherwise damaged, ready for your next solar viewing and Eclipse escapade. With those safety tips in mind, I wish you all clear skies ahead and happy Eclipse watching.